Here now, Rick Perry, former energy secretary, former governor of Texas. Good to see you, governor, secretary. How important no, is it sorry. that the House well, Speaker is doing this? Top of the list of things that uh, the United States economy needs, and that is a, a real boost, if you will. And energy is where that comes from, because everything is tied to the, to the cost of energy. Uh, and when you have more of what you need, it will drive down the cost of it. I mean, it's just simple supply and demand. Uh, Kevin McCarthy's nailing this. Uh, I would add that uh, uh, one other place that we need to really focus on uh, and to move forward in is on the nuclear energy side, particularly these small modular reactors. You know, I, I'm in the middle of a week here in Texas, CERA. Uh, it's uh, C-E-R-A. It's probably one of the bigger energy meetings happening in the world at this point in time. And we heard a lot of talk from people on all sides of the political aisle about the transition that's going on in the energy industry. Well, here's the fact. Uh, we've never transitioned away from anything. We've always added to. Uh, so natural gas was the latest thing that we've added to. It's been very good for the American economy. It was very good for our European allies until they uh, got all woke and decided they were going to uh, rely upon Russian fuel. And now they find themselves in a great pickle, if you will. Uh, but the point is, we're going to transition. We're going to add more things. And I'm an all of the above guy, Dagan. Uh, we need wind. We need solar. But they're not going to give us the base load that we're going to need to keep the economy driving uh, in the United States and in the world, for that matter. That's going to come from fossil fuels, natural gas in particular, and in these small modular reactors. They're walk away safe. They're zero emissions. They're becoming very economical. And I suggest the states that are really paying attention, they get focused on uh, these uh, advanced reactors, right. as well as opening up uh, the pipelines, uh, building more infrastructure out there. And Joe Manchin was right about one thing, and that is making sure that we have a permitting process that is streamlined and get these projects up and going as soon as we can. You know, Mr. Secretary, I, I, we talk about what you just mentioned a lot, and I, I couldn't agree with you more, but I thought it was great that Kevin McCarthy is talking about critical minerals. If you're going to make a transition to these cleaner yeah. uh, technologies, we shouldn't outsource everything to China. We have those minerals here. Let's go after them. Absolutely. And we have the opportunity to do that. Um, the Deputy uh, Interior Secretary, uh, Tommy Boudreaux was on a, a panel yesterday that I sat in on, and they were talking about how do we get the permitting process. I mean, we literally are back in the 19th century with laws that are dealing with, on our federal lands, the mining of these, these minerals. Yes. So we need to, you know, Congress needs to sit down and, you know, get a clue here and move quickly, as does the administration. The, the president can do a lot of these things with an executive order if he wants to. So let's let's work together here you know let's not let this be a d or an r thing or a left or a right thing we need the energy the world needs the energy america can supply it we were doing a great job with the previous administration by making america energy independent and we can do it again and we can do it in a hurry rick perry with a bipartisan message i couldn't agree with you more thanks for joining us on the bottom line mr secretary appreciate it you're welcome john good to see you brother